Yeah, so I heard um, the Attorney General, Eric Holder, who should be so bolder, <laughs> around his neck tie a boulder, look over your shoulder and roll the boulder, <laughs> it should smolder your shoulder. <laughs> Enough retardisms. I heard uh, the press briefing given by the Attorney General regarding this matter of the uh, trial of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and other Al-Qaeda people in New York City. And he explained his rationale for this as, uh, well, we tried Ramzi Youssef and the blind sheik uh, Omar Abdel Rahman, you know, that guy, ah, oh, ah, 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 him. So we will do the same with these guys. Well, New York City is a good place for this. So a, what, what did he say there? Their system is hardened. This administration uses such interesting uh, words. They're very um, unconventional, unconventional group of people, to say the least. Uh, and a radical, to be uh, more accurate in your description of them. Uh, anyway, then uh, I watched Kabuto later on in the day and uh, Rudy Giuliani was being interviewed and said that uh, look what happened we tried Ramsey Yusuf for, from the first World Trade Center bombing in 1993 with his men the truck bomb uh, underneath the building and causing a lot of disturbance and mayhem and disaster amongst the uh, people in the building uh, a failed attempt however as it was at destroying the superstructure in the end, uh, it turned out that just to put these people on trial and imprison them was not an effective means of deterring and preventing any future operations and acts of war of this kind. Uh, Giuliani said that our mistake was not in uh, calling it an act of war at that time and handling it as such. And I agree totally. Great comeback to what Holder just said about, you know, well, you know, he tried Ramsey Yusuf and all them in New York City. Rudy run for, run for president again in 2012, man. That'll scare the shit out of this fucking asshole Obama and his fucking asshole attorney general. We need to get these motherfuckers out of here, man. Rudy, a good man for the job. Rudy Giuliani and Sarah Palin. Yeah, that'd be great. Except Sarah Palin's more, uh, uh, gonna, you know what, she have a better chance of her as becoming the president of uh, whatever state secedes from this union. I'm gonna hurry. If I have to ride a bicycle or skateboard to that state, that's what I will do. If I have to just walk to that state, that's what I will do. And there, I will make my final stand if I have to. So help me God. She, um... <laughs> Making New York City go through this whole thing again, you know, all the firefighters and policemen and the families of those who lost their lives uh, in the World Trade Center buildings and everybody who, was, who had their lives changed permanently from that day. It's like this administration wants to treat us all like dogs that have shit in their house and they want to stick our nose in our shit. It's like this administration is some kind of arrogant, self-righteous um, people that feel that they have been divinely appointed in order to discipline us and make us pay. He is trying to be some kind of bringer of vengeance. Well, you know what, Mr. President? <coughs> Asshole. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. If I was the military, if I had custody of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, I would refuse, I would refuse to relinquish his custody to anyone else. I would say to the Marine Corps that they should, they should fight for Guantanamo like it was the Alamo. Defend Guantanamo like it was the Alamo. Just simply refuse, military. Just simply refuse. This administration needs to be refused because the whole world, 
the whole world, especially our enemies in Iran and Afghanistan and Pakistan and Iraq and um, wow, man! Notice how those were all. Notice a pattern there. Do we have any other enemies 